This video will show how to solve a quadratic equation by factorising, though you could use the quadratic formula if you so wished. Now then, to get a 6x squared, the brackets must either be 6x and x, or 3x and 2x. Now, we have a 12, and the obvious facts of 12 are 3 times 4. But to get a negative 12, one of those must be negative. So it could be negative 3 and 4, or maybe 4, negative 4 times 3. Or it could be 6 and 2 and 1 and 12, but we'll try these two out first. Now then, if you're unsure how to factorise, then the only method really to try out all the combinations until you get to the one which expands to give the required answer. Now, for example, if I were to put a plus 4 there and a minus 3, then even though minus 3 times 4 is minus 12, here I get a 12x, take a 6x, which is 6x. However, if I keep on going, and try the options out. If I put a plus 4 here and a minus 3 here, then I get a 8x take away a 9x. And 8x take 9x is indeed minus 1x. And I've also got my 6x squared, and I've also got my minus. 12. So this pair of brackets expand to give that there. And again, if you can't spot it, then in the end, just work through the options until you get the pair of brackets which expand to give the required equation. Right then, to then find x, I've got to solve two equations. Because it equals 0, the options are either this bracket here is 0, so 3x plus 4 equals 0, or this bracket here is 0, so 2x take 3 is 0. So, if I solve the first equation, 3x equals minus 4, so x equals minus 4 all over 3. Or, if I solve this one, 2x equals plus 3, so x equals 3 over 2. So these are the two solutions to the quadratic equation.